Adam, it's David. You in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A break-in at our Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. That was um, madly disturbing, wasn't it? Do I really want to talk to people in this game? I've done it before. My God, Mr. Jensen, I, I didn't think you'd. Oh, wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. Six months, mate. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean. I, I mean, of course, your memory's fine, <laughs> sir. It's what a just, dickhead. <laughs> things have been switched around a lot ever since the. Well, since the. Ever since the first attack? Yes, sir. The lab floors were pretty much demolished. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so if you need help finding someone... Uh, no. I'll find my way. If you... Okay, bye. I don't know why I'm talking to people. We don't care about that. I'm not sure how I feel about this memorial. What do you mean? Oh. The least we can do is remind everyone. Sacrifices our scientists. I never realized this was it. I love how they, how they just happened to have the reminding part that bothers me. Like I've a picture of the ones that are dead. At night. Seeing the bodies coming out all burned up like what? that. I wasn't there, but I heard it was gruesome. Megan, Eric, silly. These guys are quite funny. Jensen, isn't it a bit early to toss him back into the trenches? I hear he's almost fully recovered. His body accepted augmentations with remarkable ease, but that doesn't mean his mind did. We all know what happened when he was with SWAT. The Mexican Town Massacre wasn't his fault. Then why was he kicked off the force? I'm just saying he's too much of a risk. Oh, okay. Jensen, uh, didn't hear you coming. You should probably be heading for the helipad, don't you think? Uh, no. Care to repeat what you were saying about me to my face, Peterson? Hey, hey, listen. I didn't mean anything by it. <laughs> I'm just tense about the Milwaukee Junction situation. You're a coward. Yes. And you think telling people that their chief of security isn't up to the job is a good way to make them feel better? No, no, that's that's not what I... Look, Jensen, everybody here knows what happened to you six months ago. Normal people don't recover from augmentation surgery this fast. I guess I'm not normal then. Apparently not. Glad we could clear that up. Oh, and for the record, I wasn't kicked off the force. I quit. That's not what the papers said. The papers lie. Yeah, if you're a fucking moron who uh, who believes what the papers say, then yeah, you're a dumbass. Does this say if I walk into the bathroom? Don't mind me. Oh! There's no um conversation in this one. Or is this the woman's? I think it was too much oh no, this is the woman's. What's I mean, weird? It's a miracle he didn't die in that operation. It looks fine to me. That's not the point. Those additional implants, oh. the tracking system, and whatever else data... Yeah, I already got one listen to these. What about everyone's just talking about me behind my back? What, like I won't fucking know? A bunch of assholes. I think Pritchard's office is here. Look at all these people just standing around doing nothing. And they're getting paid for that as well. What that money? Oh, there's no, um, I just realised there's no bloody reticule. Oh, that's going to be making, pick, making things... Making... Picking up things difficult. Why would they do that? That's uh your first scholar book. Yoink. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? You have no idea, mate. Too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might seem. <laughs> Looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. 
Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. Oh, someone's jealous. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Oh, and by the way, Jensen, I know you've gone through a lot of physical changes of late, but you didn't become a woman. Stay out of the ladies' restroom. <laughs> uh, oh, worth it just to hear that line. Amazing. And he's such a salty bastard, isn't he? It's like I don't know if he's. I don't like. I don't know if he's jealous. That, um, that Jensen was uh, in a relationship, well, was in a relationship with Megan, or uh, or he just doesn't like any man having a relationship with a woman. It's, it's weird. This is my office? Got all this shit on the floor. you think some somebody would clean this up. The, man, the password's always Mandrake. Oh, I have to actually type doing it. Man, Drake. Man, Drake. I really don't want to listen to any or read any of that shit. Where are you, Adam? You don't have time to mess around. Get to the helipad, or something seriously bad is going to happen. And uh, yeah, that ha actually actually happens if uh, if you uh, if you leave if you wait too long, the hostages die. So by the time you get there, they're already dead. Which is uh, very disturbing. If, in fact, in the it was in the commentary that the director or somebody says, which is uh, quite. It adds a nice little touch. You know, if you just wander around too much, I always like to look at stuff about limb clinic when I'm having a piss. I mean. I guess there's Athena. Adam Jensen, it's so good to have you back, even if the conditions for your return aren't all that auspicious. Sarif didn't really tell me much, Athena. Just something about a break-in at the factory. How serious is it? Plenty. Some of our people were inside when it happened, working overtime. On a Saturday evening. Things have been difficult since, since we lost so many good people. Everybody's had to do extra shifts to meet deadlines. Most clients were understanding, but not every contract can be delayed. Especially the military ones. So what am I looking at here? Well, David knows more than I do. Get to the helipad. He'll fill you in. Oh, I wanted to talk to you up here. Oh well. To the helipad then, which is down. Yeah, ooh. I'm so tempted just to jump over the edge, but I know for a fact that I'd break my legs. Where the hell are these fucking... S I walked around in the circle, didn't I? I did. Oh, good lord. Oh, having, like, no stamina is a pain in the dick. Like, you run, like, two seconds, and then you're fucking out of breath. You have robot legs, dude. 
Hey, Malik. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? There's no rest for zombies. Uh, I don't like challenging it. I like Malik. Let's reassure her. Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. Uh. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. What's DPD stand for? Double Penetration Department. I bet that's interesting to work in. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get Great. the fuck on it. Then let's get airborne. These VTOLs are always, like... It's such a weird design. They're so angular. You know? There's a cop to plane. Ah, load screens. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam, so he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? Uh, I always pick non-lethal in this uh, situation because the lethal just gives you a pistol. And with no silencer on it, it's stupid. I'm I can get a better gun by knocking the people out. Them. Okay. But, but just there's no reason sure to get a pistol. Just don't wake up and warn their friends. Don't worry about that. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open, high ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance or up close? The closer the better, I think. That way I'll be sure they stay down. You got it. The typhoon should be in the factoring labs. But Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies. And if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. <laughs> 